Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover PowerPoint 2016 and I'm going to show you how to create a new presentation, add a slide to that presentation, and add a numbered list to that slide. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do is open up PowerPoint. If you'd like to follow along with me, open up PowerPoint on your computer. Then click blank presentation in the top left. Whenever you open up a new presentation using blank presentation, it's with PowerPoint's default settings. So you won't see any design settings, font, or color settings set to uh, PowerPoint by default. So you'd have to add all of those design settings yourself. All right, so in this case, I wanna take a look at this slide here. And I wanna know what type of slide am I looking at? Well, if I go to the Home tab, the Slides group, and this button right here, Layout, I could see that I'm looking at something called the Title Slide because it's highlighted. The Title Slide, if I click right here, allows me to add a title. And I'm gonna type in this title, Events Center. And let's say that we're running an event center and it's uh, we wanna basically tell people how to reserve the event center. So for here, I'm gonna put the perfect venue with an exclamation point. All right, so we're done typing the subtitle. Now let's go ahead and create a new slide. Let's go to the home tab, the slides group, and now let's click new slide arrow. It's this button right here. And so I click that and now I see all of these different options. And we noticed that these are the layouts. We just looked at those. Only this time, I'm going to choose title and content. And so I choose title and content, and it creates a slide two over here. All right, now we can add in a new title. So let's type in how to reserve. All right, so now we're going to learn how to reserve this event center. So let's go ahead and click here where it says click to add text. Notice that there's a bullet to the left of it. So if I click right here where it says click to add text, we notice that that bullet is there by default. PowerPoint de default settings are a bulleted list. All right, well, we don't want a bulleted list on this one. We want a numbered list because it's a step, right? So this is a process. Let's go to the home tab, the paragraph group, and let's click this button right here for numbering. And if I click the numbering button, you'll notice that it then changes from a bulleted list to a numbered list. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to reserve the event center is to specify the date of the function. So let's go ahead and type that in. All right, so we've typed that in, specify date of function. Now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna press enter. All right, and notice that a two populates in gray. Now we need to specify number of guests. All right, so we type that in and now we press enter. Step three is to choose the package that they want. So we type in choose package. All right, now step four, this is where they have to pay and let's have them submit deposit. Again, I'm just pressing enter between each one. But on this one, let's say that I want to give the, uh, the person the option of paying with either a credit card or a debit card. Well, I want that to be in the submit deposit area. So if I press enter, Notice that it'll go to step five. This isn't step five. I wanna basically say, hey, you can submit with credit card or debit card. So what I need to do is I need to indent that out a little bit and make that a new step one. So the, way, the place that you find that is in the home tab, the paragraph group, and you click this button right here, increase list level. So it goes from a first uh, list level to a second list level item. So go ahead and click increase list level right here. And if you click that, you'll see that now it says one. So now we're talking about the first way to make the deposit, which is a credit card. Notice that after you type this, that the text is slightly smaller and it's indented out to the right, making it again called a second list level item. All right, now we press enter. And notice that it didn't go to five, it went to two because it assumes that we're still in that second list level. So now I'm gonna type in debit card. All right, so we've typed in our two cards. Now if I press enter, notice it populates a three. But in this case, I want to actually go to step five, right? Where we don't have any other ways to pay. So let's go back to step five. The way that we do that is we click the button to the left of that increase list level button. It's this one right here, decrease list level. And if you click that once, notice it goes back to a first level item. The font size is increased again, and now it displays the number five as the next step rather than three. So I go right there, 
I type in confirm. We now have our five steps. We have our two steps of our ways to pay. And so that right there is how you create a numbered list with multiple list level items. So hopefully this video has helped you out, helped you teach you basically how to create that title slide and eventually a numbered list with multiple list levels. Uh, if you want more videos like this, uh, check out my PowerPoint playlist. Make sure that if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.